Hello, thank you for joining me. We're at the end of the platform at the main railway station at Vilnius. If I turn round, you'll be able to see most of the station complex just down there. Now, the reason I've come down here is because alongside behind me is a museum platform. Unfortunately, the museum isn't open, but we can see quite a lot just from standing here. So I'm just going to show you some of what, what there is to see. We've got an M62 diesel, which you see all over sort of former Soviet countries and you see them in Hungary so that, that is actually two locos running they kind of run together as one a bit like you see in America where they're like double diesel units I've, I've seen these similar locos in Hungary but they just run as single locos there's I don't know what the blue diesel is because my knowledge of Lithuanian or um, Baltic railways isn't great but it's um, there's there was quite a few similar looking locos parked right down the other end of the station obviously still in service so we've got a the carriage just there there's I don't know if you can see them you can just see them in the distance a load of similar carriages which are used on the loco hauled passenger trains I haven't actually seen any loco hauled passenger trains although the rather interesting thing was that they were burning coal you could smell coal burning it must be in the, to heat the train they're using coal and here we've got what looks like a, a tamper thing there's another diesel loco here it looks a bit like an m62 but it's a single unit and it's its number is v120 304 so i'm not entirely sure what what it is but it's quite a big beast of a loco I quite like the green colour, the livery they're in as well. So you can see that alongside me. Then, over the other side, there's a few more carriages. Behind them, there's some multiple units, which I've taken pictures of. You can see them from the road. And there's a steam loco, which unfortunately I couldn't see particularly well, but I did get a picture of it from the road. There's another tamper like thing, there's the V120. I'm just going to keep walking up here past this big tamper. You can see that's what, that's what they use to tamp the rails when they've done engineering work. It packs the ballast down. There's a old And then what to me is the most interesting exhibit is this steam loco. Now it looks to me like the number is 52, so whether it's a free clock built for the Russian five foot gauge, I don't know, but it's, it looks very similar to one. It has it's got the number 52, 52 313. So if anyone does know whether it is or isn't a Creeves lock, if you just comment on the video, then that would be very much appreciated because I would like to know. There was some staff in the other part of the museum which, although very friendly, didn't speak enough English. They didn't really understand what I was getting at when I tried to ask some questions. But there's the steam loco. There's an interesting pump thing here. I'll have to come back here one day, perhaps in the summer, and have a proper look round. So you can just see the other steam loco over there. Now that appears to be, well it's a class 17, but its number plate is CO17744. And there's another, I think, is that a diesel loco? Yes. Another diesel loco over there. Although the, although the main lines are electrified, there doesn't seem to be that many electrified electric trains here. Most of them appear to be diesels. And I haven't yet seen any local haul trains. And then just over there, we've got another steam loco. It appears just to be displayed here. I've, I've already been around the other side and taken some pictures, so I'll put a link to those pictures. So I'm just going to walk up here now. That's it really for the museum. We're just going to go up and have a look at the, the rest of the station. I mean, there's not a great deal to see. There's some quite nice little model railways in the station hall. I won't walk all the way up there now, but there, are, there will be pictures. And just there, there's some what look like overhead line maintenance equipment. I'll just do one last pan round. There appears to be a quite an oldish looking diesel unit up there, which I'm not sure whether he's going to come up here or not. There's various other units parked around and then over there 
behind the, with the flaps behind is another steam loco. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.